realities. We got up every day. We went to the show. We had a lot of fun. We laughed and laughed and and uh, were amazed on a consistent basis by the performance that Rush would do for three hours, bringing the absolute top of the uh, top of the game to everybody out there. But when you'd meet people in private and, and they'd say, hey, so uh, what do you do for a living? You kind of envied uh, people to a certain extent. Say, oh, I'm a school teacher. Uh, I'm an insurance uh, salesman. Uh, I do sales. Uh, I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. Because you could explain that. You could understand that. But if I said, hey, I'm a screener on the Rush Limbaugh show, they'd be like, no, you're, I don't believe that at all. And so I decided I finally had to take the reins. And I finally had to beg and plead with the amazing team. Can you please help me show proof of screening? Not proof of life, but proof of screening to this audience. And Cookie went and did this. She put this together. This is going to prove to you once and for all. It starts way back July 17th, 2002, right here on the Rush Limbaugh show. Rush talking to me. Now, you don't hear me because you would never hear me coming back from that side of the glass. But this is Rush talking to me over the time that I was in their screening. And ma- many times uh, c- coming up well short, but but I always love to think of those days. And what do you say we take a trip together? Go. Uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Winterbull, what happened to the guy who was on hold? Brett Winterbull, the official screener of calls. His actual name, uh, ladies and gentlemen, was Wang Chung Snurdly, but he changed his name. Who's next on this program? Come on, get with it, Winterbull. Mr. Winterbull, shape two in there. Mr. Winterbull, a gold star for the call screener who normally doesn't know this kind of stuff. Congratulations to Brett Winterbull, our uh, call screener. He's uh, the proud father of a new baby girl. Jillian Abigail Winterbull was born at 11.15 last night. He's very proud. He sent me an email note telling me about it. And I wrote him back and I said, well, it's all fine and dandy. It's great. Congratulations. But remember, Madonna's parents looked at her the same way you're looking at your little girl right now. Oh, the memories, the memories. I, I, I can't tell you how much it means to be back here behind this mic and uh, visiting with, with this audience because we had so many great times. And over the course of the next almost three hours, we're going to read.